appreciate you joining me on uh, calling the Ozarks. Uh, getting into a little bit of knife making here lately. Um, and uh, just so I'd share with you how I'm making my little mini forge. I happen to have a, a little uh, box that just uh, fit the, uh, the, the insulated uh, fire brick. And um, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Uh, so, I'm going to show you. Here's one of my first ones here, kind of thick handled. Saw that online. One of the guys made something similar to that. I really like that. And you can make the Kydex sheaths for them, you know. And I sell them. If you're interested in any of my knives, just give me a, a little, shoot me a little deal here. And make them that way. And a deer antler. Carve a little deer hoof print in that. And make all my sheaths. Got my own design there. Gonna get a little bit of a Native American look. But I'll take you out to the out to the workshop, and I'll show you uh, my design on uh, uh, my mini forge. Alrighty, uh, here's my little mini forge. I uh, found this box in the yard sale. This happened to be nine inches. This way and that way, just perfect. The, the, the little nine by three inch bricks just fit in there perfectly. You can just stack them in there, and drill holes in the bricks. Just fill it up. I got the rest of them sitting over here. I finally got everything all drilled out, uh, ready to receive, receive the, uh, the, the uh, heat source. Uh, but what I did here to make these holes in the bricks, you can see they're really close, they're really close to the edge, real thin like that. You know, brick. It's that insulated uh, fire brick. That's stuff you need to use. You don't need the non-insulated stuff won't work. It, it transmits too much heat out through it. But what I did to get that hole in there, I just got me a. It's a two and a half inch hole. I just got me a little hole saw here, and a little bit at a time, uh, I took these these bricks and just, I just drill this down into there as far as I could go, which is only going to be about barely an inch. And then you come back out. And you uh, use a little chisel very carefully and just knock that out, that little section down into about an inch, and then go down into it a little bit farther. Just keep on going to a little farther and tack it back out till you, till you get all the way through. Just take your time and you can make a perfect little hole like that. I mean, it's just going to be perfect. And then a hole from the side, you do the same thing to, uh, to the other brick. I think you can figure out what I did there. We'll just stack these bricks in. Here's that brick where the chamber's there, and then the heat source is going to go in from this side. It just slid right down. It is slick. And then to uh, get the get the heat source. Uh, in there, what I did was I took a piece of uh, exhaust pipe. This is just a tailpipe I got at the uh, auto parts store. Welded a couple little tangs on it there and got just the right length so when I put it in there, it'll stick in and so I can get this in there holding the camera. There we go. And I'll just screw that down top and bottom. And what if I did for my uh, heat source? Is I just got a uh, a torch cost me thirty nine ninety five. It's got a from uh, from Harbor Freight. It's got an electric starter, that little red button there, so you don't have to get your hand anywhere near the flame. I like that. But what this does, let me straighten this out here. What I do now is this just fits right in there. That uh, this this piece uh, right here, the exhaust pipe. Uh, piece is two and a half inches on the inside diameter, and then the piece that's on the end of this blowtorch um, is two and three eighths. So I mean, it just fits in there just just perfectly. You can kind of sit down like that if you want to keep it from uh, putting a torque on it. But once I put these uh, 
screws in here, I won't have to worry about this thing torquing those bricks in there and breaking them. But uh, I'll fire it up here in a little bit and uh, see what happens. But I'm pretty sure that's going to work. My, my first attempt, I, had, I did the flame source, the heat source, just wasn't going to be hot enough. But now I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the bricks in. Ready? Here's the back of my box. You can, I guess you do this with a 50 millimeter ammo can too, or whatever, whatever you, you want to uh, use. There's just a ton of videos out there on how to build these, so just pick one and, and go for it and, and uh, see what you can make work. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put these other bricks back in here to show you what I'm, what I did on mine. Here's, here's the other end of the chamber. It makes a 13 and a half inch chamber, which is going to be good for. The knives I make, some of them are kind of long. I'll slide those in there. And then I'll slide these on the very back. I might, I don't want to completely block this thing off because I may have to put a hole in that. There might be enough air circulation to get it through there. I'm not really sure. Then I have these, these cuts either from my, from my first attempt, these are just to hold it in place. I don't need that for anything else like that. For any heat dissipation or anything. These two here will do that. I'll just slide that down in there. It's nice to make them where you can take it apart. If you mess up, there's one last little piece right there. I'll scoop that down there a little bit further. Well, it's nice and snug in there. Now I can close the lid. And that little bad boy is going to work really, really well. We'll fire it up here, and I'll be right, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Looks like she's been working. Had to do a, had a couple a couple little holes in here to. right there. file knives for a while now and uh, it's just very difficult to, um, to sharpen without using the equipment that I have to use. So uh, now with my mini forge here I can get that steel like I want it and start learning how to do it. So I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, take a look at this. If you like this uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like and uh, I appreciate uh, you taking the time to look at this. Thank you so much and a happy new year.